Hello everyone, here is Radovan from BSS. Network Interface Naming Convention In Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7 Network Interface Naming Convention was changed. In previous Red Hat Enterprise Linux versions, Network Interface Naming Convention, Network Interface Names, were like ETH0, ETH1, ETH2, and so on, depending on number of network interfaces which you have on your system. This new network interface naming convention was there also on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 6, but by default it was enabled only on Dell PowerEdge servers, C-series and Precision workstations. All other systems had disabled this network interface naming convention by default. On your RHCSA exam, you will have network interface names ETH0 or ETH1 because you will have systems which will be running on KVM, so you will have virtual machines with uh, adapters with network interfaces type WIRT IO and for WIRT IO network interfaces on KVM, Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7 cannot determine the new network interface name, so old network interface name like ETH0 or ETH1 or ETH2 is used. So on your RHCSA exam, the network interface names will look like on previous Red Hat versions, so for example ETH0 or ETH1. You can see it on my videos that also my network interfaces have names ETH0 or ETH1. That's because of I'm running virtual machines also on KVM with a network interfaces type WIRT.io. So fixed names is the default naming behavior based on firmware, device topology and device type. Ethernet interfaces begin with EN. WLAN interfaces begin with WL. W1 interfaces begin with WW. Next character represents the type of the adapter. O means onboard. So ENO means that Ethernet adapter is on board. S means hot plug slot, number of hot plug slot. Then P means PCI geographic location. X is used to incorporate MAC address, but that is not used by default. And finally, a number N represents an index, ID or port. I will show you a few examples very shortly. Now please check this table. So O index means onboard device, so ENO is onboard device. ENS means hot plug slot number. X for MAC addresses, then P bus S slot and so on. Here is few examples which I took from servers which I have available. So ENO1 means forced embedded onboard network interface. If you have for example two embedded onboard network interfaces, one of them first will be called ENO1 and second will be called ENO2. Then ENP2 as a zero, it's example of PCI card Ethernet network interface. ENS9 is example of virtual network adapter which I found on VMware, vSphere virtual machines and KVM virtual machines. Of course it can be ENS10 or ENS11 or ENS5, whatever number, depends on number of slots. Then ENP0S18F2U2 is example of USB Ethernet adapter. So EN means for Ethernet, P is bus 0, S18 is slot 18, F2 is function 2 
and U2 means USB part 2. WLP3 as a zero is example of PCI card Wi-Fi network interface, where WL means wireless, P3 means bus 3, S0 means slot 0. Then WLP0 as 18F2 U4 it's USB Wi-Fi adapter, so WL for wireless, P0 for bus 0 as 18 slot 18. F2 function 2, U4, USB port 4. As I've already told, if the fixed name cannot be determined, the old traditional names such as ETH0, ETH1 and so on depends on number of your network adapters will be used. Traditional naming convention like ETH0 or ETH1 is for example used on KVM Virt IO virtual adapter, which you will have on your RHCSA exam. So on your RHCSA exam you will see network interface names like ETH0, ETH1 and so on. BIOS names. This is the second naming convention on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7, but this one is not used by default and BIOS dev name package must be installed and BIOS dev name must be enabled. BIOS names depends on support for BIOS dev name in your system BIOS. If BIOS does not support BIOS dev name, BIOS dev name network interface names will not be used. So to enable BIOS names, you have to install BIOS dev name package with yum install BIOS dev name. Then you have to enable BIOS dev name with BIOS dev name is equal 1. Once BIOS dev name package is installed and BIOS dev name is enabled and configured, your network interface names will be like EM1, EM2 and so on for onboard network cards embedded. And PY, PX, so P1, 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 P2, P2, P1, P2, P2, and so on for PCI network cards where Y is the PCI slot number and X is the number for the port on that specific card. Here is again table, so embedded network interface has new name EM1, EM2, EM3, EM4 and so on depends on number of your embedded network interfaces where enumeration starts at 1 so first embedded network interface is EM1. Then PCI card network interface has name like P number of slot and P Ethernet port. You can see in this table also new name for virtual function. Few examples are here. So EM1 is first onboard embedded network interface. P1, P1 is PCI network card interface example, which means first PCI slot and first Ethernet port on that Ethernet adapter. BIOS dev name command takes a kernel device name, so fixed Ethernet interface name as an argument and returns the BIOS given name as it should be. BIOS dev name minus I ENO1 returns value EM1 where EM1 is forced embedded adapter. BIOS dev name minus D enables debugging and output of BIOS dev name minus D command is BIOS device is equal EM1 in our case, so forced embedded adapter and kernel name, so fixed Ethernet interface name is ENO1. Then there are some important and useful information about our network interface, but the one which is related to this presentation is for example PCI name and PCI slot, so we can see that PCI slot is embedded. Please 
check description of my video where you will find links to another RHCSA fast track video tutorials and another useful related video tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, please leave questions and comments below, like my video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.